At the gable end, we call the trim piece the tile rake metal. Mark the angle of the fascia onto the tile rake metal so that the bottom portion of the rake metal can be folded to close off the end at the corner. There's a lot of snipping and folding that you got to do here, and the only way to really learn this is to do it. The goal is to end up with a closed corner that looks like this. The quarter inch ledge is designed to align the trim caps up the gable. The only part of the rake metal that you'll see is that lower half below the quarter inch ledge. The caps will rest on that ledge and they'll be screwed through this metal. At the top of the gable, you're going to miter the two pieces of trim together using a speed square to mark the angle. My green handle or left handed snips lift away the cutoff on the right without deforming the piece that I want to save. When I cut the top, I need to use my red handled or right handed snips. This relief cut and this tab I'm folding up will make some room for my snips to cut down here. That leaves just one little bit of metal that forms this hinge to cut away. On the other side of the miter, it'll be the reds on the bottom and the greens on the top. Screw the rake metal into the fascia. I've just used a couple of screws into each piece of rake metal here. The rest of the fastening will happen when I screw on the gable caps.